There you go. Back of that valve looks pretty good. I'm telling you, it's basically rebuilt. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And today we're back with the stuck CB160 to see if the vinegar has done its business. Okay, here's the tub. I haven't opened this thing in about five days. This is what it looks like. Looks like something's doing. You can see right here, it's pretty cr crusty. Something's doing all of this. Look how thick this stuff is on here. So we're, we're gonna pull this thing out of here today and hose it off, see what it looks like. And then we're even gonna bore scope the cylinders because it's been running for a week and I wanna see what it looks like. Okay guys, I do have some gloves on. Look at this, look at this stuff. Something's happening, right? We don't know exactly what, but something's happened. I turned the, the pump off, so get that. I'm gonna try to lift it up and uh, let most of this stuff stay here. So look, guys, we have some science going on. I don't know exactly what is happening here, but our case is turning pink after a week. Look at this. We're going to hose it off in just a, a second to see what it is, but I'm curious. I don't know. Somebody, one of you science guys, let me know in the comments below what is happening. Can't wait to see what the inside of that looks like, what the inside here. We didn't take, again, we didn't take off the side covers. I'm just curious. This thing is basically restored. Look at all this stuff coming out. Look at how brown it is. I am so curious to see what the inside of this engine looks like. Look at that. It is doing something. I'm not sure exactly what that something is. And I don't know if it's good for it, but again, this, this, this was just for science, guys. I do not recommend that anybody do this. Maybe it was pulling the, the plating, the zinc plating off of the uh, these bolts here, these uh, nuts there, I mean. Okay, let's see if we can get in here. Let's see if we start seeing stuff come out of the bottom. There, it's coming out of the case engine right here. So much. Let's see what's in here. I should take this side cover off. Best Captain Morgan stance to get these out. The good thing is there were... Oh. If I can save this gasket, I'm being sarcastic when I'm trying to save the gasket. But we did. What do you think it's going to look like? <laughs> That's pretty, it's pretty crusty. I don't know what it does. Okay, let's see you here. Guys, I don't recommend anybody do this to their own engine, right? Just cause some guy on YouTube is doing it, I don't recommend you do it. But for science, we should all wanna find out. Let's see if this guy will work. Try that.
Oh, nope. We exceeded the we exceeded the limit on our oil fil uh, filter wrench. So need somebody else. We need a pipe. Just so I can shear off the the key. Here, maybe we'll do this. Come on. Just try right there. Well, this is an accident waiting to happen. I think it's still a little stuck. Yeah, let's just step on it. It's like I put a quarter in the ride at the grocery store. Uh, hold on. I'm pretty nimble. I think we're just spinning the key. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe our science has worked out for us. Oh. Well, that's off. How soon before that snaps off? Let's look in the cylinders. Okay guys, here we are going into this cylinder. Yeah, we still have, we're at the very top, so we don't know what's underneath there, but that the top of that piston looks good. We are at top dead center for sure. So you stay right there, I'm gonna go to the other side. Is this one at the top too? Uh, it doesn't look awful. Look, this is in the intake. Hard for me to see, okay. Yeah, that valve, back of that valve looks pretty good. Let me get this thing off here. There you go. Back of that valve looks pretty good. I'm telling you, it's basically rebuilt. Yeah, let's look in through the exhaust. It's going through this one. Oh, that's the other back side of this of the the valve trains. You can see that. You already saw that. The other one was pretty good. Let's go into the exhaust. Yeah, I mean look. Still a little, but that valve doesn't look too bad. It looks like it's clear clearing it up. I mean I'm not saying this is something you should do, but I think now that I have this this side cover off we're gonna uh let it keep cooking okay guys uh first week of soaking the cb160 engine in um 30 vinegar i'm gonna say it's not a total failure and engine still not free but again i wasn't expecting it to be free yet but everything does look a little bit better right you can see the one thing about using this vinegar is it'll start to a flash rust kind of right away. But we're gonna, I'm gonna put it back in. I'm gonna put it back in the juice. I'm gonna go get some more vinegar so I, my level gets up a little higher. And I'm just gonna go with normal vinegar. Not, uh, I'm not gonna buy any more 30% vinegar. I'm just gonna buy normal vinegar just because it'll be way cheaper. And um, I think most of the heavy stuff is gone. And then we're gonna let it soak some more. Now that we have the clutch side cover off, We'll be able to get more flow through it. We may flip it upside down. Looks like our pistons are at the top of the cylinder. So I think what we're gonna do is flip it upside down so that the juice runs down into it and um, the cylinders stay kind of underwater all the time like we did with the top part. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll help feeding it through the case. So we'll flip it around. We'll get a couple of more gallons of, like I said, vinegar to put in there and we'll see what happens. We'll check back in in a week. Guys, if this frees up this engine and we can take it apart and then look at what it looks like on the inside and it took sitting in the, cor sitting in the corner with a, a pond pump and some vinegar, I think that's an easy way to do it. I think I can do a whole bunch of other stuff while this engine is cooking. Will this engine ever work again? I have no idea. But 
it's fun to see if we can get it to move because we can't find out if it will ever work again while it's still seized. We still have to undo it. And you know what? I haven't had to beat on it yet. I said yet because there may be some walloping on this thing in the future. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. Do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And while you're in the subscribing mood, do me a favor and go wander on over to our friends, Brick House Builds, Gold Guy, Moto Mango, Ace Cafe Bikes, Mile Zero Racers, and Plan B Moto and give them a subscribe. Come on, guys. It's nothing. You just hit the button. Hit the button. Thanks again, guys, and you have a great day.